Hey guys, it's Biggie here. No, I'm kidding. It's uh, composited C2. Uh, same effect. So uh, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this peppermint text. And uh, really, it's not going to be too difficult. Uh, I'm going to walk you through guys. I'm going to walk you through every step of the way. And I'm on my eighth attempt at doing this tutorial. So even if I screw up, I'm just going to keep going with it now. Just for fun. So, uh, I'm going to supply the peppermint image in the description. I'm going to walk you through all the filters, or there really isn't any filters on here. Yeah, they're mostly text effects. I'm just going to be showing you guys how to do the 2D layer style. And uh, you can also see it works pretty good, pretty good with icons. And uh, if you're wondering why this says giveaway, it's from the giveaway that was on our Twitter that I did last night. And uh, it's for 50 retweets, let me smash that and got 63. Maybe six before, no, only 63. And I'm also going to be picking the winner of that at the very end here. So, um, and I'll be using random.org and I'll just go through and pick the winner. So, uh, it's going to be pretty, pretty simple. Um, okay, let's get into it. So, you're going to go to File, New, 1280 by 720, 300 DPI. And you're going to want to make sure you have 8 bit for your color mode. Because if you don't have 8 bit, some of your stuff will not work and I've learned that from experience from the people that I was talking to on Skype yesterday you guys know how pissed I was because some of my stuff wasn't working so yeah um you're gonna end up with this white mass that you really don't want so control J I accidentally did that twice that happened twice to me already from doing these tutorials you're gonna delete the background layer and you're gonna come to your gradient tool and you'll see I have like a uh, kinda red to light red to uh, dark red again yeah you're gonna want to copy that it's gonna be the basis of it uh, shift you're gonna want to hold shift and drag down you'll see it makes a nice smooth little gradient that's very beautiful and it likes to look pretty for festive backgrounds so I'm gonna be using go to your text tool Base 9 small caps, which is one of my favorite fonts. I'm going to be using that. Tutorial. And uh, you can do whatever text you want. Or, like, I don't even know, word you want. It's really, really simple. Uh, you're going gonna to come over here, bring your fill down, duplicate that twice. I'm sorry, duplicate it once, so you have two copies of it. So, um, I'm going to explain the difference between fill and opacity, if you don't already know. Um, fill basically you'll see here I'll do an example you, you really you don't need this for the thing but uh, I'll just put on a quick little drop show you'll see for here you have fill and opacity at 100% if I bring opacity all the way down it hides the whole thing but if I bring fill all the way down it keeps the drop shadow so I mean that's pretty neat I didn't learn that until like a year ago so uh, I'm just gonna clear that really quick Clear layer style. And the next thing you're going to want to do is drag the peppermint stock image that I will supply in the description, probably on MegaShare. I'm sorry, not MegaShare, on like Mediafire or something. So you're going to make sure that covers up your uh, text. You're going to press control, and then you're going to make sure you're in your uh, stock image layer and press control J. I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't explain that right. You're going to hold control. And you'll see here if I hold control over the thumbnail, it gives me a little box and it makes a selection from that layer. So I need to bring that fill all the way back down. Then I'll hide this layer. And I will hide these two also. JK. I bring the fill all the way down on that one. Okay. Now we're good. So you're really just going to leave this alone. This is kind of your background because these two both have their fill all the way down. So you're going to go to effects bevel and emboss you're going to want to have inner bevel smooth 100% depth up size at 3 soften at 0 angle you're going to, want to uncheck use global light you want to come to angle and at negative 105 and then you're going to come to altitude and that's going to go to 65 your gla gloss contour is going to go to ring which is the second one in on the bottom row and if you leave your mouse alone it says ring 
So then you're going to click anti-alias, which basically blends the pixels. Highlight mode, screen. Put that at like 95. It's just your highlight, so like up here and stuff. Shadow mode, you're going to bring this to like a gray. You'll see like at first what it does. Like if I have it at white, it's really bright. If I have it at black, it's really dark. So just kind of have it somewhere in the middle. So it, bring, it still keeps like the... Uh, the text and the colors pretty decent you just want to keep that and multiplying at 75 come down to contour change your contour to uh, cone inverted and also if I leave my mouse alone it comes up as cone inverted so that's pretty simple click anti alias and you're going to want to leave the range at 50% now you want to go to stroke 3 pixels inside and then you're going to want to change this to soft light sorry and then bring the opacity to like 35 so you can kind of see like it's coming together pretty quickly a lot of this is just working with the shadows and inner glows and shadows and I said shadows twice and strokes and overlays and soft lights just to kind of bring out and pop out the uh, edge so then we're gonna come to inner shadow and uh, we're just gonna kind of keep this really how it is. We're gonna keep bring distance down. We'll see it comes in so dank. Put it to ten. Bring the opacity down to twenty five. Inner glow changes to white because we're festive. And uh, size have it at ten also, and then bring this down to ten. So really, you're only gonna the only way you're gonna see the inner glow would be on like the red. It's kind of like a uh, like a light that shines on it. It's kind of cool. Uh, color overlay. I'm gonna take this to white. You know, change the blending mode to soft light, and you're gonna bring it down to 20. And uh, gradient overlay. Change it to overlay, and then bring this down to 25. So what that does is that's actually kind of harsh, so I'm going to put that at 20. Um, the, the gradient overlay is pretty self-explanatory. Color overlay is just for changing the hues around. Inner glow, just shadows. Inner shadow for shadows. And the stroke just kind of affects the uh, bevel that we have. So that's good. That's a lot of effects. Welcome to 2D. Um, now we're going to go to the one on top of it and we're gonna go to drop shadow and we're gonna have the distance at 3 the size at 15 and then we're gonna bring the opacity to 65 now that does it just kinda makes it lift off the page it looks pretty nice and I like it so if I like it then it works in my book and you can't really like if you don't like your work you're not going to have confidence in your work and as soon as you don't have confidence in your work you're not going to like your work so all the people that complain about how they never get in teams it's usually because they're not confident in their work or they don't like what they're doing so I mean the best way to just kind of feel happy is to make sure you like your own work it's pretty simple it's like painters if they don't like their painting they're not going to sell it so you're not if you don't like your painting you're not going to feel confident in your abilities but feeling overconfident is also a backdrop of that. So uh, really, I mean, that's that's the whole text. So um, I mean, like I said, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show you guys how to do all the brushes and stuff. If you want me to show you how to do that, I'll do that in a different tutorial. So um, now when it comes to the icons, like how I have here down here, basically all I did was drag them in. I merged the layer so I had like one of these deals down here um, except it didn't have the candy cane thing on it it was all white and basically I applied the candy cane to the layer and then I just like copied my uh, layer effects and put it on there and it worked fine so um, that, that's, that was really simple uh, so now I think we're gonna pick the giveaway winner so let's just do it I'm gonna refresh this Anyone who does this a second after is disqualified. So we have 63 people. And I'm just going to click that. Retweet it 63 times. I believe it loads up all the people. Yes, it does. Okay. So minimum is going to be 1. Max is going to be 63. Oops. 
of course I have it. Ah, uh, generate. Our winner is number 13. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is I Spanner, then Anna is number 10. Liam is 11. NF Tiny T is 12. Oh shit, our winner is Corey. Yeah, I don't, that, that's unfair. I'm gonna count that. I'm just gonna double check. I don't like you, Corey. JK, I've known him for like three years. One, two, three, four, five. I just gotta double check. Like, my math skills when I was young sucked. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, I scarcer has won the background for the holiday. So uh I'm just gonna tweet at him really quick. Yo at I scarcer you won my give away shout out also in tutorial love you. Okay, so uh, that's the winner for the giveaway. I will probably be doing maybe like three a week. So uh, just kind of follow us on Twitter at Composited. And uh, I really want to be bringing some more tutorials to the channel. I hope you guys like this. I tried to bring a little bit of humor and a few mess ups because I'm not the best. As you can tell because I'm this is like my eighth attempt between my dog coming in my room and barking. And uh, just me stumbling and messing up on words. So, uh, like I said, I'll put the material in the description. I hope you guys like it. See ya.